morning! Welcome back to our Yicks Are Us channel for another pregnancy vlog. Today I'm 36 weeks along and I had the realization that I only have about two and a half weeks until my scheduled uh, C-section. That's crazy! Crazy it means Nato will be here in two and a half weeks, and the crazy part of it is that now we don't even have a Chinese name before we had a Chinese name. And my father in law told me over the weekend we can't use this one because that's his Chinese one of the characters is his name. And I'm, I don't know why he didn't tell me that sooner because he's known this name forever and he actually suggested this name. I don't know, but that's okay. It's Nelson's like. It's not that big of a deal, babe. We'll just figure out another one. I'm like, all right. So now he only has a middle name. My son only has a middle name. So, yeah. No, maybe just call him like MJ. Yeah, there we go. That's his name. Ladies and gentlemen, I've made my son MJ. That's it. MJ Yik. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. So I am on my way to my 36 week scan and I'm excited. Last time we checked, he was at 15th percentile. If you want to see that story, click the blog above and you can check that out. But um, yeah, last time he was 15th percentile, he's in the 15th percentile, so we could kind of calm down a little bit. Hopefully, he has grown even bigger because I've definitely grown bigger, and unless my body's still taking all of the nutrients, he, it's, he should have grown quite a bit. Like my belly's definitely got bigger. My mom said yesterday when she was over for lunch that it looks like my belly has dropped. So uh, my girlfriend Mel, her belly has dropped. Like her baby's gonna be any day now because she's technically three weeks ahead of me. But because I'm being, um, I'm delivering two weeks earlier, she's technically going to deliver one week ahead of me, which is basically any time between this week and next week. So uh, I'm so excited for her too. Our baby's gonna be like hanging out. So we've had quite an adventure the last couple of days. Yesterday morning at like 6 a.m. or just before 6 a.m., something along that line, Nelson wakes me up and I'm like, I'm sleeping on my left side <laughs> because he's been waking me up to basically roll me back over to my left side because that's the healthiest way to sleep when you're pregnant. You don't want to be on your back and you also, I think they said the left side is better than the right side just because of the arteries and blood flow and all that stuff. But my left side, frankly, is getting very, very, very sore. So that's why I roll over to my right side. Even with my snoogle, this time around it's sore. Like my snoogle is such an amazing pillow. I love it. It's like the best thing I bought when I was pregnant with Ginevra. I was able to finally sleep, but even this time around, I'm so heavy that it's not... It's, it's not as comfortable as last time around. And speaking of heavy, I broke down in tears last night because of how much I weigh. I know I'm supposed to gain weight with the baby. I'm supposed to gain with the pregnancy. It's just my weight has been something I've been fighting with like since I was an adolescent. Yesterday morning at like 6 a.m., Nelson, he pushes me away gently, of course. And then he's like, shh, listen. And I heard, above our heads. I was like, oh, is there a burglar? Like, is someone like in our house? And he's like, no. And then you hear, go, 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 thunk. Go, 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 thunk. And I'm like, oh my God, what is that? What is that? And then I was like, he's like, I'm like, is that an animal? He's like, yeah. I'm like, so there's an animal in our attic. <laughs> Me being in my groggy state, I was like, and it sounded really heavy. Like we've had a squirrel in our attic before. We've had like little mice in our attic before, but nothing ever this heavy. Like this guy sounded like legit ginormous, like huge. I was like, is it a bear? And he's like, it's not a bear, but literally it was right above our heads and it sounded like it was going to fall through the ceiling. It was so heavy and it was just like, k -k 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 -k. and then all of a sudden you hear, or something like that. It was like the weirdest sound, like, doo -doo -doo -doo. and I was like, oh my god, is it a raccoon? And I was like, I think so. I kind of caught a bit of it on on film, on camera, but you can't really hear it, but I'll insert it here. It was like 10 times. 
times, if not more heavier sounding than what I caught. And so we ended up having to call in pest control, but they weren't open until 8 a.m. when this one company we used a couple of times. So we closed all the doors in our bedroom just in case this ginormous like hulk of a raccoon falls through our bedroom ceiling and terrorizes our bedroom. At least it will be someone contained to our bedroom and nowhere else. The other crazy thing is I was having my mom come over for lunch and then Ginevra was having a play date and I was having my girlfriends come over for lunch, not lunch, but I was having my girlfriends come over for tea because our kids all play together and Ginevra was having craft time with her friends. And I had to say, okay kids, Upstairs is out of bounds because if this raccoon does end up falling through the ceiling, it is much easier for me to evacuate one child or maybe two than six kids. He came home basically mid-afternoon. He was able to get off work a little bit early and finish up working from home. And I was so tired just from waking up funny, uh, entertaining and, and things like that, that I just, I really needed to lie down for a bit. So. So I was like, yeah. he insisted that I slept with a basket over me in case the raccoon falls through. So the raccoon would land on the basket and not directly on his pregnant wife, which is sweet, but it was a little bit ridiculous. Oh, and he gave me a thigh master, not for weight wise for me, but as a weapon to like knock this thing off of me just in case. Such a funny man. The pest control guys came, they ended up putting in a one-way door with a flag on it so you can see when the animal escapes out of the space. It was crazy, it turned out that this raccoon had like pushed open one of our soffits. Not just a little bit, but like a pretty large hole on the side where our garage roof meets the main roof. The other crazy thing that happened yesterday, and I'm super duper proud of, is I attempt baking, and yes, I cannot bake, but now I can apparently. <laughs> I made such a complete mess of my kitchen. I didn't use a deep enough bowl and I turned on the blender and literally I exploded flour, cornstarch, and icing sugar all over me, all over Ginevra, and all over every surface within a probably three foot radius. I made a mess, but it was so worth it because I made lemon smears for the first time and oh my gosh, it was so good. I am now off to my 36 week scan, hopefully everything goes well, and I will update you afterwards. Finished at my ultrasound, it was such a quiet, super quiet session. Uh, it took about maybe half an hour or so, maybe 25 minutes, but um, the technician barely said anything, which is okay, I mean she was very focused, and this time she had to look for specific types of movement, so I guess she really wanted to make sure she caught those. She said that the baby right now is still head down, which is good, um, but he's now facing my right side, so maybe that's why I feel a little bit more uncomfortable than before. I wonder if that also means that because he can still move around so much, does that mean that he's still small? But, however, I did notice that I can't really make out distinctive features like what's an arm, what's a leg, because everything looks a lot more close up, so I'm assuming that he also grew, so that's a promising sign. Going into my OB appointment now, hopefully we have good news and we find out if we're delivering on the 13th or if we're delivering earlier or if a spot opened up a little bit later. So we'll see, keep you posted. How's Natal doing? Natal, he is now, his heart rate is 165 beats per minute, so it's faster than last time. Yeah. Is that bad? No, no, because it's just faster, that's all. Oh, usually faster means like I'm stressed. No, usually for fetuses, I guess faster means that they're a girl. So doctor, the doctor was like, oh, are you sure? They told you it's a boy. I think they lied. Now his heart rate's like a girl. Okay. <laughs> yes, he's gained 0.6 kgs. So he's now... So he's a pound something. That's, yeah, just over a pound. Oh, okay, good. So he's now about five and a half pounds. Oh, great. He's in the 26th percentile. <laughs> Good job, Mom. So we're keeping the 13th? Keeping the 13th. Okay, unless something good. later opens up. Okay. So blood flow is good, everything's good. Everything else is good. 
Yeah. Okay. I only gained two pounds. I don't know why I felt like I gained so much. I have to tell you, you, I think you're just tired. I think I'm hormonal. Yes. Thanks for joining me today on my pregnancy 36 week update uh, for NATO. And I will, I have another appointment next week. So stay tuned for another update and whatever else ends up on the channel in between. I love you guys. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to keep receiving these updates and to also find out what us yiks are up to. And if you're happy for us, make sure you give us a big fat thumbs up on this video. So yay! Hopefully this just keeps progressing. I love you guys. Bye!